Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm bringing you a fantastic lineup of must-have mods for Cyberpunk 2077 that mostly came out in the last week or so. These mods will elevate your gameplay and make your adventures in Night City even more exciting. So sit back, relax, and let's explore what these mods have to offer. First on our list is the Bike Wipeout mod by Sinx. Before this mod, V could zip through Night City on a bike, brushing off high-speed impacts with ease, for the most part. But realistically, no one should be able to hang on that effortlessly during a crash. This mod changes that by making it easier to lose control and wipe out when you collide at high speeds. It adds a dose of realism and excitement to your ride, so remember to stay sharp or you might find yourself flying through the air. Next up is dynamic NPC items, which livens up Night City by giving NPCs everyday items like cell phones, tablets, and even umbrellas when it rains. And for some reason, not always when it's raining, they still have the umbrellas. Anyway, maybe they just think it's going to rain, as it is Night City. Also, finally, the citizens have figured out what to do with their hands. This mod adds a new layer of realism and immersion, making the world feel more alive and bustling. You'll see NPCs chatting on their phones or sipping on drinks. Let's dive into the next mod. The Flying Tank Enhanced Basilisk. Now this mod is quite impressive, and I had an amazing time flying a basilisk tank over Night City. Soaring above the skyline, in a tank is a very thrilling experience that offers a whole new perspective on the game. The only hiccup that I encountered was not being able to exit the tank after using it. It seemed like a me problem as no one else seemed to mention it in the posts of the mod of the mod page, but fortunately a quick game restart resolved this issue, making it more of a minor inconvenience than a major problem. And also the controls are quite intuitive. Also the controls are pretty nice too. It took me a little bit to figure it out, but you use R to ascend, like go up, and C to descend. But if those don't suit your style, you can easily customize them using the native settings UI mod. But yeah, despite the small hiccup, this mod is incredibly fun and adds an exciting new dimension to gameplay, allowing you to explore the city in ways you never could before. Using a massive freaking tank that has guns and shoots and... It's really nice. You should try it. It's definitely worth trying out if you're looking for a fresh new overpowered tank vehicle that flies. To add to your cyberpunk experience, let's hop over to the next mod. Experience luxury with the downtown yacht mod, which adds a lavish yacht as a new location to explore in Night City. Perfect for those seeking a taste of the good life. The yacht is furnished with uh, what I would call neon elegance and offers a peaceful escape other than the other than the loud blaring music which we'll get onto in a second whether you're throwing a party or savoring the view the yacht may be your floating paradise to access this you'll need to first complete the gigs serial killer a lack of empathy and an inconvenient killer then you'll unlock this gig here i forget the name so i'm going to show it on screen which will allow the yacht to spawn in just do that mission and then the yacht's basically all yours keep in mind that the yacht's music is currently quite loud and i don't believe there is a way to adjust the volume or turn off the music if anyone knows a workaround feel free to let me know but despite this the mod is stylish and offers a unique setting to enjoy the game from a different perspective but moving on to the next one corpo plaza apartment comfy living this mod transforms the corpo apartment making it from good to even better the enhancements make the entire space much cozier and more inviting, giving it a warm and welcoming vibe. It's definitely an upgrade, adding a touch of sophistication and comfort that makes it a perfect retreat after a long day in Night City. But moving on, introducing the Dynamic Cherry Blossoms mod, which breathes a new life into Night City by changing the color of the cherry blossoms each time you load your save. Previously, these holographic cherry blossoms had a static appearance that was just pinkish. Now they offer a dynamic visual appearance with some very cool presets. They look quite nice. This mod definitely adds a refreshing touch to the cherry blossoms that you find around Night City. Moving on, mod number seven. Fans of the classic film Blade Runner will love this next mod. The Blade Runner Blaster introduces Deckard's iconic firearm into Cyberpunk 2077. With detailed textures and animations, this weapon is not just a nod to cinematic history, but also a powerful tool in combat. Now you can use Cyber Engine tweaks to obtain this, or from most gun vendors in Night City, starting at level 17. It's a must-have for most cyberpunk players. Finally, you can live out your futuristic detective dreams with this piece of film history. Now, let's tidy up things a bit with the trash removal Dicky Twisters Club mod. This handy addition cleans up the club by removing unnecessary clutter, enhancing both the look and performance of the area. Enjoy a cleaner, more immersive experience that could give your FPS a little boost as well. Because who wants to party in a dump, right? But yeah, moving on. Check out the 2009 Chevalier Chevalier Corvette ZR1 mod. A stylish addition to your Cyberpunk 2077 garage. While the car's design is impressive, the driving experience can feel slightly bouncy and sluggish compared to other car mods. Despite my limited knowledge of modding and making car mods, of course, this was just my personal experience. But anyways, that aside, you can personalize the car's color using the optional colors file. Download it from your mod page, extract it, and choose your preferred color variations from the exterior, 
interior, and other parts. Follow the installation instructions provided in the mod description and apply those changes in-game. This mod also supports the virtual car dealer mod, allowing you to purchase the vehicle in-game, of course. I'm unsure, but hopefully the mod will get performance changes, handling improvements, but yeah, it's a good mod. Last but not least, we've got the Tesla Eurog Cybertruck. It's weaponized as well. This mod adds a futuristic weaponized version of the Tesla Cybertruck to your vehicle roster. With machine guns and enhanced durability, the ride is ready for anything. Whether you're evading the police or taking on enemies, this Cybertruck has got the power and style to back you up. Just don't let Elon see you. He may want royalties. But yes, that wraps up this video. The best mods this week for Cyberpunk 2077. From immersive environments to powerful new rides, each mod adds a unique twist to the game. Which mod is an instant download for you? Share your thoughts in the comments below. As always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon to stay updated on all things Cyberpunk. Until next time, take care and happy gaming and modding, of course. Thank you for watching.